viewers how are you i'm back with another episode of programming with scratch and today we will make the iconic snake game the snake game first appeared in 1997 in nokia phones and it was a great way of passing the time so this is what our game will look like in the end so let's get started first create a new project get rid of scratchy the cat and i will be using my own snake sprite so i will be uploading it and i will be giving the link to the website from where i got the snake head and i will be also giving it a body costume this is the head and i need to upload the body now name the snake sprite as snake so i will be reducing the size it's too big to 60 now we need to add code for the snake to move on the screen continuously when flag is clicked in a forever loop move about 20 steps now we need to add code for changing its direction depending on the keyboard arrow keys pressed so we will be adding an if condition here for each of the four arrow keys make sure that this is outside the if block sensing to detect which key is pressed we will be doing the up arrow key first and we have to change its direction accordingly and point in direction where up and we will be similarly doing it for all the arrow keys so i've added the code for all the arrow keys as you can see make sure that move 20 steps is outside all these if blocks let's test it out i can change its direction now you can see that the snake was moving too fast so we need a few variables here if you remember i told you how to make the score variable for the zombie game and we will be doing something similar to that we will be needing a speed variable to control the speed of the snakes so i will just click on make a variable i will be adding speed here in the beginning of the forever loop we will set the speed to 0.2 it's an appropriate speed we can make it faster later by making it 0.1 and whenever the forever loop is run after moving 20 steps we will tell the program to wait for speed seconds now the speed is coming here we don't want it to be shown so we will just uncheck this checkbox and then it will disappear but yes we do need a variable for score so let's make it while we are here and we will be setting the score to 0 remember the snake has to eat something and then it becomes longer so the score will be maintained this way we need to add a sprite for something that the snake will be eating so i will be choosing a strawberry from here reduce the size to 30 and now if you remember that the strawberry that is the food item for the snake has to appear randomly all over the screen but the main thing is that it should be shown completely so let me find out what are the good points for it to appear so as you can see it's somewhere between 230 x being 230 and minus 230 and y being about 165 and about the same minus 165 so i will add the code for that when flag is clicked we need to give it a position to go to go to operators and choose pick random 1 to 10 this will be minus 230 to 230 duplicate it and this will be for the y position minus 165 to 165 so this will take care that the strawberry will be shown properly on the screen now we need to add code for what happens when the the strawberry is eaten by the snake and we will be using the touching sensor here and we will be doing it inside a forever loop because we have to keep on doing it and checking for it all the time so go to controls if sensing if the strawberry is touching what the snake then we need to increase the score by 1 so we will go to variable and change score by 1 okay i hope you understand till now now i'm coming to the most important part of this game that is when the snake eats the strawberry its length should increase and we will be using clones here but let me explain what is a clone a clone is a copy of the sprite and it is created at the exact place where the sprite is but our snake is moving 
So we have to take care of the fact that the clone should be following the head. That is the body clone should be following the head. And how to take care of that? So what we will be doing is that when the snake is moving, we will be creating clones and they will be also being deleted depending upon the score being kept. We are back in the snake code and after moving 20 steps, make a clone. We will go to control and we will create clone of myself. Okay, so this will be making a copy of it. Let's run it. So as you can see, that's, that looks more like a caterpillar now. So what should be done? When I start as clone, that is I'm a clone. So I should switch my costume to the body. Okay. So let's do it again. And as you can see, the, the body is being made. And now we have to delete it because this is a very, very long snake because we are just creating bodies behind us. So when to delete the clone? That is where the score and the speed will come because we are waiting for the speed seconds and then making a clone. So we can use the formula that delete the clones after speed multiplied by score. For example, if the score is zero, the clone will be instantly deleted. But if the score is one, then it will be deleted after 0.2, that is the speed multiplied by one, that is 0.2 seconds. So in that time, a new body will be made in its place. And this is needed for the flexibility of the snake's body. Let me put that code. Go to operators. Choose the multiplication one and then just add the score and the speed. And this will take care of what I was talking about that wait for score multiply by speed seconds. Delete this loan. Now we come to the part where we need to check for the game ending. That is when the snake's body crosses itself. So we will be using color here. Okay, and we will be needing an if block, if block here, touching which color, the color of the body, we can choose the exact color. Touching color and then we need to broadcast to the entire game elements that the game should be finished and we go to events and broadcast certain message and the message is game over and we need a game over sprite we can draw it so i just wrote game over and i chose pixel font what is the code for the game over sprite when flag is clicked just keep on hiding and when you receive the event that the game has finished just show yourself also make sure that the snake's costume is set to head when the game starts. Another important thing that I forgot to tell you was that after this, the strawberry has been eaten by the snake, we need to give it a new location, a new random location. So just copy this code. Get rid of the extra part and just Put it here inside the block and this should work another thing is that we can make the snake teleport that is when it reaches the side extreme right side it should appear from here and for that just take care and keep on checking if it reaches the edge just bring it to the opposite side so this is the code for that so what is happening here that if it is pointing towards the right and the exposition is greater than 230, just take it to the opposite side. Keep the Y position the same and just multiply its current exposition by minus one and you will appear at the other side. And you can do it for all four directions, as you can see. So let's try our game. 
just going to go back on itself to end the game i hope you like this video please share it with your friends and family all my classes on scratch are free i will be coming back with something new in my next class thank you and goodbye